I am going to be a little bit different than the rest of the people on this panel because I graduated high school last year. So I just graduated. I was in those seats just a couple months ago. Um, but I did transfer. I'm at Bowling Green State University now, and I'm getting a degree in mechatronics engineering technology, which butts right up against the electromechanical engineering degree at Zane State, and that's what I got there. So I'm only going to be here for three years instead of four because of my transfer credits. And I came in with a junior status. So we just picked our classes for next semester. And all the other freshmen, like the very first year students, which I'm also one of the very first year students, they don't get to pick until November 2nd. But I already got to pick because I have all the transfer credits from Zane State. So I have junior status and I get to pick like room and classes way before anybody else my age gets to. I'm obviously not working anywhere right now related to engineering, but I am, I heard them talk about co-ops. I am in the process of applying for co-ops. So they are really important to get a degree that has the co-op requirements. My degree requires two. So I have to get one this summer and next summer since I'm only here for three years. So that's my two summers here are intern or co-ops when most people would have a gap and then they would have to do the internships. And I'm in the process of getting them. Hopefully. Okay. Yeah. What do you hope to get out of your co-op experience? So the one that I'm hoping, like the one that I'm really hoping I get right now that I've already done the interview and stuff for is with Honda. And they have a mechanical one, which isn't really electromechanical, but it's like the AutoCAD class that you guys would have if you are in the pathways to engineering. It's doing that kind of stuff where I would design the pieces and parts of the car and then they would make them and put them in the car but I am trying to talk them into letting me work with the robots on the floor instead of doing that. So I think that's why it's taken them a little bit longer to respond is because they're trying to see if they can get me to work with the robots. So we're trying. So some people from my grade, since we just graduated, some people that were in the pathways with me, some of them stayed with just their two-year degree and they're doing really good at like small engineering places in Zanesville. So if that's something you want to do, then like, great. Then you will not really need the four year, but I want to work somewhere like Honda or maybe Disney or something where I would need that four year degree. So it's really just depends on what you want to do with it. And then I would look online to see what their requirements are degree wise with that job because Honda and Disney both require four years. So that's why I'm here.